under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Cincinnati Reds and the Miami Marlins. Stepping up to the plate, Nick Senzel. And we are set for baseball here this evening. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. And back to back pitches out of the zone to begin the evening. It's 2 0 now. Starting to cool down a bit, but still 84 degrees as we start play tonight. Hard liner to center field. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for. The first out. And the pitch. Joey Votto comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1 0. Now the pitch. 2 0. Hit hard down the right field line. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a cold strike, too. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Bases are empty, one man out. And another foul ball. So a full count now. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. That Got him swinging on the fastball there. Joey Votto is the second out of the opening frame. Bo Bichette is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, it's 0 and 2. Now, this pitcher's feeling the flow right now. Two outs in the first inning. He's got really nice mechanics working right now and blew that fastball right by him. One ball and two strikes to count. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Started to chase that time, but then he wisely holds off for ball three. Hey, that's not an easy pitch to hold your swing up. I know it looked like it was way off the plate. Good job not swinging at it. A payoff pitch one more time. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, Jonathan Villar. He'll lead things off here in the bottom the half of the first. Marlin. Now the pitch. The Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. A high fastball is in there. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Stepping in, John Birdie. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Back-to-back -back strikeouts in the first right here. Pitcher is setting a tone nope. pound in the zone. Count is one and two now. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Corey Dickerson is in with two away as he takes a ball one and oh. Just missing here, 2-0. Oh. Hey, you want to talk about being in the zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Sent foul again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at 2-2. Two two. Into the corner and slicing foul. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order.
Second inning set to go. And standing in is the veteran third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1 0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Now here it comes. 2 and 1. I got 2 1 to count. Started to go around, but he's able to check his swing for ball three. If he doesn't shorten his swing up right there, there's no chance he keeps his bat back. Inside as he nearly got him, and it's ball four. The second baseman, Mike Moustakis. First offering on its way. Mike Moustakis is at the plate as he watches ball one. The 1 0 home. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Pulled toward right center field. There to take it is VR, and that's the first down. Coming to the plate now, Aristides Aquino. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. He's set. Here it comes. Good curveball there gets the swing and miss. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. Got it, got it. The left fielder. Number four. First pitch coming, here it is. Number four stands in as he looks at ball Number one here. Four. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. And that's over two and one. Line drive to left. Dickerson will get there, and he puts it away to... Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here comes the first baseman, Garrett Cooper. The first baseman. Liner Garrett. towards second. Cooper. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. To the plate now, Brian Anderson. As he'll look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. Fastball just a bit low here. He's behind 2 0 now. Fouled off. The 2 1. Cooper on at first. Nobody out. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Hey, three foul balls in a row. Left field and deep. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Digging in now, Harold Ramirez comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. No balls in one strike. Bottom of the second here with no score. And he pulls the string on the circle change, but it's taken for ball one. Line towards center field. Senzel is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Ready now for the Marlins. Christian Lopes. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. One and O oh the count. A ball and a strike. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. And it's two balls and two strikes now. That misses, and it's going to set up a big pitch now. Three and two. Good spot for it. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Digging in, Tucker Barnhart. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. Third inning underway now as a curveball misses here to start things out. It's one and oh. One and one to Tucker Barnhart. Ready to deal. Here's the one one. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Two balls and two strikes to the Reds catcher. 
And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious. Oh, meanwhile, how about that for a play? Laying out to take away a hit. Wow. Here comes the first pitch. Luis Castillo is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. It's funny. That pitch, I can picture being in the box. That pitch looks so good to hit, and why does no one ever get to it? A good executed high fastball usually blows nine out of ten guys away. That's a ball. Misses ball two. Hey, started this guy backwards. Couple of off-speed pitches early, followed by back-to-back -back heaters. He can go either way he wants to go right now. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Nick Senzel is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. One and one to the Reds' leadoff man. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Hit hard up the middle. And the Reds have their first hit of the game. The first baseman, number 19. So upsteps the former MVP, Joey Votto. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Now the 2-0. Outside, that's the ball. Yeah, it looked like he was going to cruise through this inning, but now a hit, a 3-0 count have changed that. Got to get back in the strike zone right here. He pulls this one into right. Ramirez is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Bottom of the third now, and now it'll be the catcher, B.J. Lopez. The catcher. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Left fielder giving chase. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Jordan Yamamoto. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Two mid-90s fastballs right there that he doesn't seem to think he can catch up to. I wouldn't be shocked if he came right at him again with another good one. A ball and two strikes to the Marlins pitcher. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Ready on one and two. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit down the third baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. 0 oh, 1, here's the pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Nope. Low and away with that one. It's one and two. Step out of the box, take a deep breath after spitting on that changeup. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. All set for the start of the fourth. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Bo Bichette. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. He right, ties him up with a fastball inside, one and two. Not likely to see a fourth fastball in this situation. I'm going to eliminate the fastball if I'm at the plate right here. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Eugenio Suarez checks his swing here on the first pitch, and it's 1-0. and oh. Great job to be able to lay off that pitch right there. You could tell the minute it came out of his hand, his eyes lit up at the plate. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that. Meanwhile now, this is trouble down that right field line. This should be extra bases. And he'll reach second now with one away. Now that second base. At the plate, Mike Moustakis. He'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. Moustakis. 
or just Moose for short, who was selected in the first round back in the draft of 2007. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Now the 3-0 offering, and it's fouled away. The 3-1, and that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. Now batting. Digging in to try it again, Aristides Aquino. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Number four. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Number four. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Outside with the fastball that's 1-0. That evens it up one and one. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Oh, and that one misses badly. It's ball two. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Ready with the 3 1. Hit on the ground out to short. Scooped up, and the two out threat will. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And stepping up is the shortstop, John Birdie. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. But the throw will beat him at first, so the bunt for hit attempt is snuffed out. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Corey Dickerson is at the plate as he looks at ball one. The 1 0. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A.B., he went down on strikes. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to 2-1. and one. You rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle. And man, as a hitter, probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. But this will hang up just enough as he takes it in in stride in left center for the second out. Riding in once again, Garrett Cooper. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. One and one. Now the count of the Marlins' first baseman. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him. One and two. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. So digging in now, Tucker Barnhart comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch on its way. The wind up and the 0 1. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. Hit in the air to right field. Ramirez is there, and he makes the catch for the out. So here now is the pitcher, Luis Castillo. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. Popped up. Cooper over to his right, and he makes the catch for the second out. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Nick Senzel, last time through, was a base hit. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. Hit sharply on the ground. Reined in. And he'll make that play look easy as the throw is in time to end the inning. Stepping into the box, Brian Anderson. He flew out in his last at bat. The third baseman, Brian Anderson. He's 
ready. Here's the first offering. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. And there's ball one. A one one. Sent on the ground out to second. And that's the first out. Now at the plate, Harold Ramirez hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Hit on the ground out to short. Bichette gathers it in. Throw in time at first for out number two. So coming to the plate, now Christian Lopes. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Breaks his bat as this one's popped up. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. At the plate now, BJ Lopez. As he'll take a look at ball one. Hit out towards second, fielded by Mustakis. Throw goes to Votto over at first. It's in time to retire the side. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And next to battle be the first baseman, Joey Votto. Too high that time with the inning's first pitch. Hits ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Oh. Maybe a bit of an overthrow there, guys. May have let that front side open up a little early to try to pump up on a fastball and sailed on it. And that's in there. Base hit. Now batting. Stepping in now, Bo Bichette. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 0. Oh. These are the moments in the game that can sway it one way or another while you get a W or a loss right here. Leadoff man on, heart of the order coming up. Guy out on the mound has got his work cut out for him. Up and in. Big danger now. It's 3-0. and oh. I love the ability to hold up right there, especially with count leverage. I know you want to get aggressive in the strike zone, but he was able to notice that that wasn't his pitch. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Tyler Kolick takes over on the mound here with nobody out the in the sixth inning. The third base. Eugenio. In now, Eugenio Suarez. As he'll come up empty oh, there as he misses the off-speed pitch for strike one. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. The Reds have been searching for that big hit all game long. Let's hope they can get it. They're starting to run out of time. It's about time for something to happen. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Settling in now, Mike Mustakis. It was a walk in his last trip. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first. So the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk. And the force play is now in order. From the stretch. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Ball two. Nowhere to put anybody. 2-0 count. Not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. From the belt, the pitch. Hit high but foul as that'll get in amongst the fans. Kolick, a native Texan. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. This one's down to third. Fielded cleanly to second for one. Relay to first in time. Jorge Alfaro is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. A ball and no strikes. Weak grounder down the line at third, but a foul ball, one and one. Here's the pitch. And oh, that looked to catch him flush down near the foot or the ankle. 
safe at first. A good effort to recover there, and he almost made the play, but that's a base hit. Standing in now, Jonathan Villar. As you look at a changeup that drops below the knees for ball one. One and one to the Marlins' leadoff hitter. No runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. The count now at two and two. Now a changeup, but it misses just a little below the zone. Oh, it's hit to third. Five, four, three, and they turn the double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And next will be the speed threat. John Birdie takes this the other way to right. And that'll get down for a two-out single. Into the box, Corey Dickerson. As he'll take a changeup here for strike one. 0 oh, for 2 for him to this point. Runner goes for second. Strike called. Now the throw down. Not in time as he steals second. No runs, four hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Filthy changeup that time, but he's able to make contact, and he'll get another chance. And he looks at a ball, one and two. Well off the plate with the change of pace. That's ball two. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends. Jose Arena is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 62. First pitch of the at bat. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. And he buries a breaking ball that time. Good pitch, and it's 0 2. Hey, obviously he had a pretty good gauge on that first heater right there. He was super aggressive, thought he was getting another one. Slowed him down with the curveball. That's the cat and mouse. Count still at one and two. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. And that misses two and two. Hit back up the middle. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Digging in, Tucker Barnhart. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0 and 1. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Count even at two and two. One out, nobody on. Full count now, three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out. A dive, and he knocks it down. On the recovery throw is in time to get the out at first. What a heads-up play. Digging in once again, Luis Castillo. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Fouled away. And he lays off for ball one. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Little chopper back to the mound. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. And that'll bring in Garrett Cooper. One for two. He singled and struck out in two trips. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Hey, this guy's been throwing a gem so far. We're moving on later into this game, and he's right at about league average for first pitch strikes. A bouncer to the left side, scooped up. And a leap over at first, but he comes down with his foot on the bag to record the out. The third baseman. First delivery to him on the way. Anderson. Votto might try to make a play on it. Ball one. 
Bases are empty, one man out. Line toward the alley in left center. Number four is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Ready for another now shot now. Harold Ramirez. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Strike taken up in the zone. That elevated fastball right there. That is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys were connected. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end. The in now for the Reds, Michael Lorenzen. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. One ball, no strikes to count. Red center fielder in front with a 2 0 count. Not even close with the 1 0. He needs to get back in the zone, but be careful. Work the quadrants. Dickerson is there, and he'll bring this one in. So one away here in the Reds' half of the eighth. And standing in is the on-base machine, first baseman Joey Votto. In there for strike one, 0-1. Oh Everything this guy throws is hard. That changeup he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. One and two as the changeup had him out in front there. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. And there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Now batter. Ready now for Cincinnati. Bo Bichette. It was a two-bagger for him in his last at-bat. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. The third base number seven. To the plate now, Eugenio Suarez. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. 0-2, oh, the count to Suarez. The count doesn't mean much to this batter. He's all in. He's not concerned with striking out, so he's going to get his A swing off. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now, and set to go is the second baseman, Christian Lopes. Not sure if this is a powerhouse pitching performance by both teams or bad hitting, but as we're moving late into this one, it's about time somebody puts something together to try to score a run. Hey, that's the modern game right now, north-south. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east-west we came up playing. And the throw here is in time. Now Very down. nicely Hector. done there at short for the first down. Lopez. B.J. Lopez comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. His slider's been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. And he fouls this one off. Here comes another 0-2. Struck him out, and he becomes the ninth strikeout victim thus far. Jesus Aguilar will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. And a ball, 1-0. Bases are empty here with two men out. A ball and a strike. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Can't connect there. It's two and two. Hey, it's tough when your team is being held scoreless on the scoreboard. He was trying to put him on the board with a swing like that one. Count full, three balls and two strikes. And he lays off, ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. The better fielder. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Jonathan Villar is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. And it's quickly 0-2. 0-2, oh here it is. Swing, and he popped him up over in foul territory back behind third. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him. As Ryan Cook will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. 
First pitch of the at bat on its way. Off we go in the ninth as the first pitch misses for ball one. Ball two now. Now the 2 0. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. There to take it is VR, and that's the first out. So striding in, Aristides Aquino. He's set, and the pitch. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. One and two. One ball, two strikes. One out, nobody on. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Now a check swing, but he does manage to hold up in time. Ball three. He's set, and the payoff pitch. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Now batting. Here's the first pitch. The 0-1. One one. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. And this is popped up near second base. Birdie takes charge and he's got it. Two down. Now with the play, Tucker Barnhart. There are two gone and the possible go-ahead run at first. Now here's a line drive and this is going to get down for extra bases. Aquino heads for the plate. And they're going to take a one nothing lead as the run comes across to score. Freddie Galvis will look to provide a little two out thunder off the bench as he'll hit with a runner at second and two away. Grounded to the right. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. But they'll still manage to get the out on the four. Amir Garrett comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Now to the plate, John Birdie. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Out in front of it, strike one. He said, here's the 0 1. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. Garrett rarely finds himself in much trouble out of the bullpen, at least in terms of giving up base hits. He's proven to be a tough guy to barrel up. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Corey Dickerson is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. Now the pitch. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, that's back-to-back -back really good sliders. I wouldn't be surprised if he threw another one right here. Looks like he's got that slide ball in his back pocket right now. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Fans on their feet in a one-run ball game in the last of the ninth. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. And this is a strike three called and a bit of a questionable ending there as the ball game is over. Wow, that game flew by, but that's what happens when you get a well-pitched one-run game. Both hurlers battled, and it's almost a shame somebody had to lose this one. And that one run held up tonight, one nothing the final. The Cincinnati Reds, with their 97th win, tops in the division. Luis Castillo earns his staff leading 16th victory of the season. Amir Garrett closes the door for the save, his 27th of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt.